hello friends welcome to my youtube channel today i'll give you a quick walkthrough on how we can configure aws im identity center with google workspace using saml connection also i'll give you uh, I'll, I'll give you a quick walkthrough or uh, I'll, I'll show you how we can sync the user which are created in google workspace with im identity center now let's understand what is im identity center so so AWS IAM Identity Center it is a recommended AWS service for managing human user access to AWS resources. It also provides a single place to manage user groups, permission set and the consistent access across multiple AWS accounts and application. And the best part of IAM Identity Center it is offered at no additional cost so you don't have to pay anything to manage user groups and permission across your multiple AWS account. So integrate Google Workspace with IAM Identity Center. So integrating Google Workspace with uh, AWS SSO streamline the user management uh, process also enhance the security. It also reduce the need for uh, remembering multiple passwords and also it improves the user convenience. So if you are using Google Workspace and your infrastructure is hosted on AWS, so I, I, I believe this is the best tool to go for. Does it work? So Google Workspace uses a protocol called System for Cross Domain Identity Management Protocol, which is basically used to sync the users which are created in Google Workspace with IAM Identity Center. So before you actually go ahead and configure the IAM Identity Center with Google uh, Google SSO, there are some prerequisite that should that you should uh, fulfill before you go before you start configuration so yeah this is about the introduction now let's go ahead and configure the google workspace with aws account so here i here you can see in this document i've listed the steps in detail that you can follow so on the next on the next slide i have opened the google admin console as well as the im identity center so let's do this configuration step by step so as a first step, you have to configure the SAML application in the Google Workspace. So for that, sign in it into the Google Admin Console with the admin permission and navigate to app and web and application. So here is the Google Console. Uh, this is the home page. I've already uh, access to Workspa Workspace. I'll go to apps, then web and mobile app. Then uh, then you'll you'll see this page then click on search for app and search for amazon web services yeah so this is the app amazon web service and we are using a web as a platform so select this so when you select this so when you select this uh, it will create a saml application for you and also uh, this contains the IDP metadata. So here you have two options either you can download this metadata or you can copy uh, Copy SSO URL entity ID and the certificate But I would prefer to download this metadata and import it into AWS So I've downloaded this Google IDP metadata. So let's see next. Let's jump to the next step so second step two is to enable IAM identity center uh, so this have to be performed on AWS itself. So what I'll do, I'll just go to my AWS console. I've already logged in into uh, the AWS console and I have a relevant permission to uh, to configure IAM Identity Center. So what I'll do, I'll just click on enable. So this will take few minute to uh, few minute to configure by itself and uh, also enable multiple uh, multiple things for you. So yeah, as you can see, we have successfully created organization instance for IAM Identity Center and this is the uh, unique ID. So on dashboard, you can see uh, we can configure SAP. I will create another video to deep dive into what is SAP, how we can monitor activities. But yeah, uh, this is the important bit that we uh, that we need in uh, in this tutorial. So first we have to confirm the identity source, then there are uh, there are a few other things that we have to do but let's start with configure your identity source so this will redirect you to the settings page but yeah we will do the configuration here so let's uh, go to the next step 
so yeah we are already here we are on the settings page and um, and change the identity sort so yeah by default uh, as you can see the im identity center is enabled and we have access to portal url but if you go to this url this will uh, ask you for username and password but uh, but as a part of this tutorial we we want to configure google workspace with uh, aws sso not the user based or the password based authentication so i'll close this window and as i mentioned in this document so we have to go to the action and change the identity source so i'll go ahead change the identity source as you can see we have three options available the current option which is by default enabled by the aws is identity center directory if you have active directory you can select the second option but we want to configure google workspace with our aws uh, sso or im identity center so i'll select the third option which is the external identity provider i'll click on next so yeah uh, again we have selected external identity source now uh, now the next step is to import the metadata so this metadata have has to be imported from the google metadata that we downloaded in the last step so automatically it, it it is imported so if you go to the google admin console we have this sso url entity id and certificate so it is up to you if you want to uh, configure it manually you can do that but i would prefer to select the idp saml data saml metadata which uh, already contains all the metadata or the information of uh, the the saml application which is configured on google workspace so i'll hit next so this is review and confirm you can go through the uh, consequences of the the request uh, consequences of the change that you are requested so i'll already go ahead and accept this and change the identity source so this will take 30 to 40 seconds to uh, enable the external identity source so yeah uh, you'll you'll get this page where you can see the multiple options are disabled by default but you can enable them as per your need so if i go to this url again so now this will not ask me the username password but rather than it will throw an error because the configuration is not yet complete so let's wait for a few seconds so as you can see uh, it says redirecting to external identifier but uh, it also says app not configured for user so let's complete the uh, remaining steps so i'll click on continue and then here it will ask for few details which is basically acs url entity did and the start url and also we have to specify the name identifier here so for this let's go to the next step um, on uh, yeah let's let's go to the aws again and uh, from this identity source select the manage authentication so i'll go to the aws action and manage authentication now uh, whatever the idp metadata that you have imported and the identity source which is created for your aws account so this is the uh, this is the basically metadata of your all the service provider details and the identity provider details so what i will do i'll just go ahead and copy this three url into google console again just make sure that uh, these three url has to be configured properly so for that uh, i have created table and also i'm uh, i've given the mapping how which url should be uh, configured in google workspace so let's let's understand this table so on the left hand side we have aws saml metadata and and on the uh, right hand side we have google saml metadata now uh, let's le let's look for the im identity center acs url and configure this as a acs url in google metadata so yeah here we have im identity center assert assertion consumer service list which is the acs url so i'll copy this and we'll paste it as a acs url here then uh, as a entity id in google workspace we should copy the im identity center issuer url so this will become my entity id and 
the AWS access portal sign in URL will become my start URL now as a name ID this should be as email and this is a primary email so let's verify these uh, settings on the document so under the name ID it should be email and primary ID and we have done this mapping correctly now click on continue on Google workspace then then we have to map these attributes so for for uh, for role session name let's select this as a primary email and for role let's select as department group membership is an optional thing you can skip this for now and let's finish so now your saml application is configured there are few uh, things that need to be uh, configured so the very first step is go to user access enable this for everyone hit save yeah so this is save now let's go to web and mobile application again so now your google yeah so now your google workspace is uh, configured and uh, user which are present in i'm identity identity center can access the uh, or or now your google workspace is uh, partially ready to use there is only one last bit pending let's do that so now the integration between i'm identity center and google work workspace is done but there is one more bit called auto provisioning so what auto provisioning will do it will sync the users which are created in your google workspace with your uh, with your aws identity center so this auto provision step has to be done on both 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 platforms so i'll go to aws first and if i go to settings here then there is a one pop-up called automatic provisioning let's hit enable so uh, make sure that before you close this window um, you have to copy the these configuration on google workspace so i'll leave this pop-up open i'll go to the google workspace and click on configure auto provisioning so it has several steps so the first step it uh, requires the authorization basically the access token an access token can be fetched from this pop-up which we have on aws side so i'll click on copy i'll go to app authentication i'll paste this token as is and then hit continue now we have to configure the endpoint url so for this we have this scim endpoint copy this go to google workspace and paste now hit continue now these are the attribute mapping again um, like most of the fields or most of the attributes are optional but wherever we have this required field so they are they they should be already mapped but if you want to change it according to your use case you can um, you can change it but for now i'll keep this by default as is and hit continue now this is the provisioning scope so let's assume that if uh, in your workspace if you have different groups called let's say engineering uh, engineering finance and if you want to uh, provide or if you want to provide access to specific group of people or if you want to sync only those users who are part of that particular group then you can search for group currently i don't have any group in in my google workspace so i'll uh, i'll leave this blank and hit continue so this is the deprovisioning step which is the last step in uh, in in the auto provisioning step so what it basically uh, define let's say if uh, if 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 user left organization and and the admin admin department uh, disable their um, their google workspace account then what action should be performed on aws side so those things can be uh, defined here and configured uh, defined or configured here so there are different options available you can uh, either suspend account or delete account from aws uh, from aws services it is up to you how you want to deprovision those account so i'll keep again i'll keep this uh, settings default as is and hit finish so now we are almost done with the google workspace configuration there is a only last bit pending to sync the users uh, with aws so there is a toggle button i'll i'll uh, 
I'll switch on that. So this is the pop-up window and the config and the confirmation for user. I'll turn on. So now the auto provisioning is on. Now this will take few minutes to sync all the users from Google Workspace with AWS Identity Center. But yeah, uh, to verify that you can go to IAM Identity Center again. Close this window. Now we are almost done. So I'll refresh this. And if you go to if you go to user. You can see the user is already synced. Uh, display name is my name. Status is enabled. Created by uh, SCIM. Now, uh, now if if you now if you add a new user into your Google Workspace, that will be automatically synced with AWS because we have enabled the SCIM and we have also enabled the auto provision on both side. So this is about the user. Now, if I go to groups. You can see there is no option to create group and also there is a pop-up window that your identity source is currently configured as external identity so identity provider and those groups are uh, created those groups will be created and managed by the external identity provider but um, but as i mentioned earlier the google does not support the group synchronization yet but there is a workaround but i'll i'll uh, I'll, I'll tell you how you can create group how you can manage member and how you can assign permission to group and then how you can assign those groups to a different account in the next video so till then uh, stay tuned for the next video and finally let's check our configuration so again i'll go to settings i'll copy this access portal url and we'll try to open this in the next new new window so now as you can see So this is the AWS landing zone. This is redirected to ident identity provider. And since the only account is logged in uh, via, via Google, so it picked uh, it picked it uh, it picked as a default account. And as you can see, I'm inside the AWS now. So since I do not have assigned to any group or permission, uh, and because of that, I'm not able to see any uh, active AWS account here. But if you are seeing this particular window, which means you have successfully configured your Google Workspace and uh, IAM Identity Center. So yeah, the configuration is successful and we are ready to use. So in the next tutorial, I'll, I'll show you how you can create groups, create a permission set, and then you can assign membership between user and group. So yeah, this is uh, it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.